Even though I'm not officially making them, I'm making them. It looks like he's holding a lizard. Put these ones in here and, and pray. She got flogged by a rooster. That's what happened. Usually when you burn a cookie or burn something, just call it black bottom. I can't live in Canada. Sorry, Peggy, I just can't live in Canada. Again, another video. Let's watch Michelle figure this out. One more that I like to watch. I like to watch Life with Mike. Let's shake the ladder while my wife's up in here. So if you're ever bored one night and you're wide awake, check Yellow House on the Hill because they might be doing a live stream. Good gosh. I sure do get lost a lot. Life and More Reloaded in her Roomba. I mean, how can you burn a chocolate chip cookie when you're standing right here with it? Nothing. <sighs> We're beeping again. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. You're in my microwave today. Today is seven days and counting until the wedding. And guess what I'm doing? I'm baking cookies. Didn't know I could do that, did you? So, I'm in charge of, hold on, mac and cheese. 10 pounds of pasta. I'm baking mac and cheese in my roaster. I'm also making cookies today. Don't know if I said that already or not. Don't know, don't know. But I'm cookie baking. The groom's mother is also making cookies, but I'm making cookies my way because I've got a lot of cookies to make. So I went and bought this. These are the sugar cookie type. And all you have to do, you see they're already baked and frozen. Just plop them in the oven and they come out like new. Fresh baked cookies. I also have chocolate chip ones that I'm doing this way. And chocolate chip chunk. And sweet and salty. Yeah, sweet and salty. That's what I'm doing today. That's what I'm going to start doing today. I've got my, I've got these. Those are my newer ones. You guys know you always have them crap cookie sheets. These are not those. The crap cookie sheets are like to go out to the fire now. Well, this one's about ready to make it to the crap pile. I can't get that off and I'm not scrubbing with the scrubby because I'm not doing that because I don't want to actually ruin the pan don't want to do that. I'm also making the boutonnieres. I don't know if you've ever seen on, um, if you Google, um, Google, oh, my back really hurts and I'm not thinking. Um, shotgun boutonniere. It's going to be a shotgun shell with baby spray and it's going to be gorgeous when I'm done with it. So, Needless to say, how many inches do these? These are probably too close, see? Because these cookies get pretty big. And I do want them to be pretty. Even though I'm not officially making them, I'm making them. Well, anyway, back to the shotgun. That means that we have to go shoot off some shells today. Black ones. The bride has a color choice. I wonder if I could do them like that in the middle. I better run. Let's just do, yeah, three on this tray. Woohoo, I got a lot there. Oh, heck. We're going to not do three because that's just ridiculous. We'll do nine. The bride has requested a certain color for these to be, so that's okay. And we do have white ones, but, you know, after, those are just going to run right together. We're going to go with it anyway. Now, this is pretty big, so three across on this one should not be touching it together. And these only need to stay in the oven like th three minutes. I was going to say three minutes. Seven minutes. So the bra, you know, where was I? Good gosh. I sure do get lost a lot. Listen, I'm in a lot of back pain today. Just, just a lot. The pain meds aren't working today for some reason. But we're pushing forward and that's okay. We might go swimming later. That might help. But when you shoot off a white shotgun shell, it kind of looks grayish. It's not as like pretty white like we would like it to be. So my husband and I are going to go shoot shells off this weekend. Shoot the shotgun. That's what we're doing. That will be fun. And just so you know, I am a very good shot. I have good aim. I can shoot a shotgun. I actually have my own gun. But it's a 20 gauge because... 
I can handle that better. So with a gun. Yep, I have one. Also, the crossbow. I can shoot that very well too. I hit the center target every time. I might go deer hunting with my husband this year. I did go once with him last year. See video of me climbing the tree stand. That was interesting. Not only did I climb the tree stand, he thought it would be funny to shake the tree stand when I was up 20 feet in the air, or however many feet you go when you're in a tree stand. I wonder if these are too close, probably. So he decided it would be really funny. Let's shake the ladder while my wife's up in here. I think that's fun to do. It wasn't fun, no. Maybe I'll link that video at the end because that was, that was just ridiculous. I was all dressed in camo in this big hunky suit and big hunky boots that my husband made me wear. And then I had to climb the tree stand and sit on this little seat that was like this wide. My butt is bigger than that. All right, I'm gonna put these in the oven for seven minutes and I will be back when these are done. All right, got the cookie trays out. Now, these ones are pretty and round, but I hope they're done. They had to be in there for a little bit longer. And I turned the oven temperature down a little bit too. That helped. These ones are a funky shape. We might eat those. And these over here are pretty. So that's what we got. We got funky shape, we got pretty. And then I put another tray in there because while I take these off of these trays, I can have another one baking. Wish I had more trays. And it seems that I have to use the upper end of my, like the top of my um, oven. Yeah, all right. I have wax paper all over here. I don't have cookie racks, the baking things, the, the cool, cooling racks. Don't have cooling racks. How am I gonna get this off here? Let's see, without ruining it. Oh, I might need to, oh no, look at that. Oh, look at that, they came right off. We'll just plop those right there because that's the closest spot to me. Looky there. Now I'm gonna freeze these and wrap them real, real super good. Usually at Christmas time, I like to bake a lot of cookies. I mean, a lot over, I over bake cookies. And then of course, I end up eating them all, most of them. I wrap them really good at Christmas time. I'll put, um, this is gonna be Watch Michelle Be Confused. All right, we need to move this. We'll put this here for now. Well, that one's been cooling. Again, another video. Let's watch Michelle figure this out. Okay, we'll get this one. All right, now where did I left my spatula over here? Think. So at Christmas time, I'll take a gift box and line it with freezer paper. Hence, all this. This is freeze. This is actually freezer paper. I have. Yeah, it's not wax paper. It's freezer paper. I have a big roll of freezer paper, and I'll put it in between the layers of the cookies. And then I'll wrap it like a present with freezer paper. In fact, I'll double wrap it with freezer paper in a shirt box. And that seems to work for me really well because the cookies are never bad. And if they're wrapped and taped shut, you tend not to eat them. At least I don't anyway. Today is not a good back day for me. Not a good back day. Not at all. Now these are a little weird shape. Those look like good coffee dippers to me. All right, I'm gonna go take these off the tray and I'll be back. All right, back at it. We do have a tray of eaters. The odd shaped cookies are gonna be the eaters because they're a little darker on the bottom than I want them. They're not burnt, but they're, they're just darker than I like them. Usually when you burn a cookie or burn something, just call it black bottom. Tell people it's supposed to be that way. Oh, wait a minute, that's a new recipe I tried. It's black bottom, it's black bottom pizza. Those are black bottom cookies. Do you like them? Somebody might believe you. Okay, how many did I do there? I did three on that one, it worked. Wonder why the other one didn't. The other tray, the bigger tray, I did three. Did I do three across one or four? No, I don't remember, jeez. All right, well, welcome to my world. Michelle doesn't remember. We write things down in this house often, or I tell my husband, because my husband seems to have a good memory, better than mine. I did three o'clock today. Maybe I should just do two. Because I do want those to look pretty. All right, we're just doing two across on the small tray because I don't want to have another eater tray. 
It's not very many cookies, is it? One, two, three, four, six. I got six cookies on that tray. Oh well. All right, let's check the other ones. And I'll turn that off so it doesn't keep ringing in your ear. Tell you, I don't like this oven. This is a new oven. Not happy with it. Not at all. I had a gas oven once in my life. Everything else has been electric. I loved that gas oven. I liked it a lot better than the electric ovens I had. And when I bought this oven, I don't know why I bought electric. Again, wasn't thinking. Should have bought gas. Should have done that. Didn't do that. They're looking done. I did wipe all my surfaces with alcohol. Let me show you what I have. This is the strong alcohol. And I wiped it all down with that. I take that spray bottle with me into stores and wipe everything down. Even around the outer, I better check it again. Even down around the outer edge of the buggy where you think you might grab it, wipe there too. I'm gonna say these are done because we'll just let them cool. Put these ones in here and, and pray. All right, and there you go. Timer set. We should go out real quick and see what my husband is doing. We have eight minutes that we could do that. Let's go do that. Well, we didn't go outside because I figured I would lose track of time and then it would just, all the cookies would go to pot. I, I just didn't do that. So I cleaned out the refrigerator. That needed done. I had hair on my sausage. You know, you find stuff in the way back of your refrigerator that you're like, oh, what is this? And then you open it up and you go, well, really, what is this? I did that to spaghetti once and um, purple, there was purple and white and black and orange. There were such pretty colors on this spaghetti that I left in the refrigerator for too long. But that's what I did. Now we're waiting for this to go off again. And what I figured is I had to move my racks up for some reason, I don't know. I had to, they're like all, they're not the top one, but the next one down maybe? No, well, the next one down. They're, they're just not in the middle. And I've been fighting with my timer over here because it's like, it has a mind of its own. And then it says, sometimes it tells me I need to press start the timer and sometimes it just goes on. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm probably just doing it wrong. I don't know. I would say that is done. And I would say this is done. No, maybe not yet. Give that a few more minutes or seconds seconds not minutes because if it's minutes it'll burn so what else did i do i watched some youtube what do you guys like to watch on youtube and do you have enough time to watch everybody because i don't i like there's all these people that i like to watch and there's not enough hours in the day for me to watch everybody there just, there just isn't and i'm sure you guys are feeling the same way but today let's see i watched the wickershire project have you ever seen the wickershire project billy joe he moved down from Boston down to, I think, South Carolina. Sorry, Billy, if I got that wrong. But he moved south, and he's starting a homestead, and he just got chickens, him and his family. His kids are loving it down there. Episode 15 I haven't seen yet, and I'm just looking at it right now on my iPad. And you can see it looks like he's holding a lizard. I haven't got to watch that yet, Billy. But I will. I'll watch that one. I just watched The Wickershire. Billy Joe, tell your daughter she did a great job filming. Good job, Bella. Okay, these look done. They look nice. Okay, also, Billy just got chickens from Lazy Acre Homestead. This is just like the rundown on what I know. No. And there goes my timer. We don't need you going now. Two minutes, maybe. Here we go again. Playing with the day on timer. Now it says press to start, okay. And then it goes beep, 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 beep. Let's try it again. Now, I must be operating it wrong. It's the operator probably. I'm sure it's the operator. Oh, those need more than two minutes. Now I'm gonna change the timer. So anyway, Billy just got chickens from Lazy Acre Homestead. I love to watch them, April and Glenn. They do live streams in the evening too, and sometimes they put out videos, but they just got Wickershire Project just got chickens from Lazy Acre Homestead. Now Lazy Acre Homestead just had a big old drama on their, on their homestead. April got attacked by the rooster or a chicken or something, a bird with long feet things, the nails, which I know that's not what they're called. Flogged. She got flogged by a rooster. That's what happened. She had to go to the emergency room 
she had holes in her leg and everything so go watch lazy acres you know they april needs our love right now because she's hurting she has fibromyalgia too and some other health issues and then she went and done got flogged by a rooster that happened let's see i like to watch page family homestead they just moved they live in canada and they moved to another part of canada i think it's norther than where they lived and they live close to a river now and they have a big property that they're going to be putting like raised bed gardens and chickens and maybe bees and the whole thing all of it they did all of it so they're going to be like remodeling their house and doing their whole yard because they have a blank slate they can start with and that is so exciting i would love to go visit them which my husband and i are planning a visit when we can because right now we're in like america and they're in canada and we don't have passports don't know if i could get passports and don't know when i can cross the border and if i cross the border can i come home that would be an issue because i can't live in canada sorry peggy I just can't live in canada all my grandkids are here now someone else that we watch believe on the cross sunday morning is starting like at nine o'clock they do a little prayer and bible reading kind of thing tony and his wife chris are doing it tony is actually a pastor he doesn't have a church at the moment, but they also have a channel called Yellow House on the Hill, and you can find their Believe on the Cross through there if you go to their page. They also do live streams every night that they just sit, sit around and hang out. There's a bunch of people that go in there, and it's a lot of fun. So if you're ever bored one night and you're wide awake, check Yellow House on the Hill because they might be doing a live stream. One more that I like to watch, I like to watch Life with Mike. He has Bible scripture readings every day and it's just calm and gentle and walk through the woods with him and sometimes he does hauls when he goes shopping or something just a variety of things I like him too that it's just relaxing I do like to watch life with Mike all right one more now life and more reloaded is fun to watch she just did a video lately on her her Roomba sweeper that she named that's pretty funny she named him well you just need to go watch life and more reloaded and her Roomba so I'm gonna link all these below the ones that I enjoy there are a lot more that I watch and it's like you hate doing this and but those are just the ones that I just watched right now I'm gonna be watching a lot more while I'm baking cookies those are just the ones that I just watched so go check them out okay here's the arch my husband built we're getting ready to i think he's going to take it apart to get it over there because she's getting married in their backyard they have a pretty big backyard so he did that we're going to put flowers on it and drape a cloth on it here's the other cookies they're peanut butter cup gourmet cookies and those you just have to thaw and these are really good they're really good we got sweet and salty crunchy cookies and those you don't have to bake or anything just thaw and then i got these chocolate chip cookies that we're going to get out of here and we're going to go bake those now of course they're the same concept as the sugar cookies we just did they just have chocolate chips now the reason that i made the sugar cookies is because i have a grandson that doesn't like chocolate so gma is thinking about him when he goes to the cookie table and gets a cookie and all of them are like fancy cookies or you know because there's other cookies coming too nothing that he would eat gma got you buddy gma got you all right we've got the chocolate chip ones going let me show you the difference this is a good bottom that is a black bottom good black look i'm even standing here with these cookies i don't like this oven i hate my oven i don't like it i mean how can you burn a chocolate chip cookie when you're standing right here with it how can that happen I, I don't get it standing right here with the daggone thing and it burns i don't know but i'm on hour number 72 of baking cookies <laughs> not really and not really and i don't mind doing this at all we were going to go fishing today but today in ohio is for the weekend everybody can fish and you don't need a license so every tom dick and harry is going to be out there fishing so so much for that plan that one went out the window i hope they catch something because we're not but that's okay we're going to bake cookies and i'm probably taking a nap i don't know 
We have chairs over there, see him? And see the dog on the other side of the chair? In that corner over there? We're blocking the dog from coming in here because I've cleaned the kitchen really good, swept it so we don't have any issues. This is gonna be called waiting for Michelle. Things just be waiting with Michelle for cookies to get done and hope they don't burn. You can watch in the day when things and they burn. Our eating pile's getting bigger. Yeah, Rob just came in and said, wow, our eating pile's getting pretty big. Well, I kind of knew it would be because of this oven. That's why I'm baking all of these cookies. It's getting bigger, the eating pile. Now over here are the nice ones that are turning out better. I'm still baking. Still baking. Yep. I've had to move the top rack all the way up. I don't know if I told you that or not. It's been a long process. I'm probably repeating myself. You know what? I just washed this thing and gave this thing to Rob to take outside and put back in his garage. Let me show you where it is. You see that? That is not his garage, is it? Nope. Nope. Your husband's do that? Mine does. I have nothing right now to say. I just have nothing. 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 We're beeping again. Cookies. I got cookies. All right, I am done. I got another batch in the oven. They're gonna not burn. They better not burn. We got enough cookies to take to the wedding. With all the other cookies, we've got a lot of cookies. Plus there's gonna be cake and other things. So we have enough cookies. So my bag of keepers is okay for me to have. Says me, says me. All right, well listen, if you like my video, hit the thumbs up button down there. It's down there, down there, and the subscribe button, it's over there too. Hit those buttons so you don't miss another one of my videos. You don't wanna do that. All right, I'll see you next time, bye.